usual and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about this one. This is the Pearl Palette by BH Cosmetics, the birthstone palette of June and we are going to swatch it, we're going to compare it, we're going to use it and I'm going to let you know whether or not I think that this is a palette worth picking up. I have been trying all of these palettes so far so this is the sixth one and I am committed. We are going to try all of them during this year of 2021 and I am actually quite excited about this series and if you haven't been there before, hello my name is Angie, I am a lover of fashion and makeup, especially colorful things even though today I'm going out of my comfort zone and I am going to play with some neutrals, which is not normally what I do, but listen, we all sometimes need to step out of a comfort zone and just try something new because what do we know? Maybe it could be our new favorite. And if you just want to see some more makeup content, don't forget to subscribe because I upload five videos a week. The Pearl Palette is the sixth palette in the Burst On Palette a series by BH Cosmetics. These are, so far from what I've heard, exclusive to the BH Cosmetics US site and the BH Cosmetics Germany site. I bought this as the Germany site because it's really nice for me because I don't have to pay customs because I live in Sweden and it came to me really quickly. And it is a pretty neutral palette this uh, month. A lot of people were really upset about how neutral this one was. I will say it's the sixth palette in this series. So we've had January, February, March, uh, April, May and now June and all of the other palettes have been pretty colorful or at least half neutral half colorful. I'm not super upset that this sixth palette in the, the series is neutral. Like, I understand if June is your birth month and you were hoping for something really colorful but I don't think it's weird that one of the palettes is a neutral palette because there are a lot of people out there who just want to wear neutrals which is perfectly fine. This palette is set up just like the other Burst On palettes, so the big shade is the name of the palette, which is Pearl, and it is basically the color of a pearl. And it's been the same in the other palettes, like the Aquamarine was an Aquamarine color, the Emerald was an Emerald color, so these palettes seem to be following the same kind of a pattern. There is one press glitter in here, and personally I don't love press glitters, but it seems to be one of the press glitters in every palette. There are three mattes, two shimmers plus the pearl one and then one pressed glitter. I feel like the matte shimmer ratio of this one is a pretty good ratio according to what I like. I also did compare the glitter in this one to the glitter in the aquamarine because I did get a question about that, this glitter right here, and I will tell you I think they're the same. I think they're the same. The Both of these glitters are like that, um, like almost limey green to a peach shift with a see-through base so you can layer them on top of other shadows without the glitter like covering the shadow underneath, but I do think they're the same. I, I don't know if they're 100% the same, but they're same enough so that I couldn't see a difference between them. If you are wondering what your palette is, I will pop a picture up on the screen where you can see all the uh, like the stones that they have picked for the series and you can see what are the upcoming ones because they release these on the first of each month and you can buy them, like I said, either on the US or the Germany site. So if you were wondering what the other ones are gonna be, now you see, and I will also leave my playlist up here in the corner where I have all of these palettes reviewed from before so you can see which ones uh, seem to be more up your alley. Even though this one says like June, I mean the, the big one is still the pearl, so don't feel too like caged into like getting your month. If there is a color scheme that you like more than your birth month, I think you're perfectly fine just picking the one that you like or skipping all of them. Maybe this is just a way for you to be inspired and see what kind of color combos you can do. So far from swatching this, it seems to be the normal good BH Cosmetics quality. So I am gonna zoom in and we can try it on our eyes and see if it's actually any good. And all of the things that I have on my face, by the way, I will link them down in the description box. Always check the description box for links and codes and info. I always have everything down there. Okay, eye primer is on. Let's play with the palette. I don't normally go for neutral looks and always when I do I tend to go a little bit, um, I want to say overboard but like dramatic. I think I'm going to be using all of these shades except this one, the yellow one, because my dog is walking by. I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to use that one and that one. So it's like the light one, the medium one and the dark one, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I love that I like really have no idea, but it, yeah, that is that's what we're doing. So we're starting with the peachy one. It picks up really good. There's a little bit of fallout in the pan or like kick up in the pan. So I'm taking this in the upper crease and I'm gonna have this a bit as the transition shadow, like the shadow that's like on the top. 
this goes on really nice and really pigmented and it was super easy to blend and this is also like giving this palette that like peachy hue because I feel like all of the shadows have a little bit of a peachy undertone yeah that's a really nice like just peachy peachy transition color it shows up and it's really pigmented but it's also really easy to blend out and just make very sheer so I'm gonna pull something slightly smaller maybe no not that one Hold. maybe something like this that it's like because I like using color yeah I think this is gonna be perfect 205 by BK Beauty and I'm gonna use the one that's called visionary which is like the it is like a chocolate brown but it definitely has a little bit of a like a peachy undertone Definitely not cool tone, but definitely not orange. Wow, that goes on so pigmented. That's real. And this is the second to darkest color. That means that we're going to be able to make this really dramatic. And that makes me happy because if there is something that I love, it is a nice dramatic look. I am going to take this out a little bit. And that's why I wanted to have a brush that's like bit um elongated because i want to have a bit of a winged out structure or shape of this so that i can use the glitter out here at the end with this smaller brush i'm using the darkest shadow now and i'm just picking up little by little and i am gonna deepen up the that's really pretty. I'm going to deepen up the outer corner and a little bit in my socket. So I'm just going back and forth with the brush with my eyes slightly open to just deepen up where my fold is. To get the shadow or like the, the depth where I really want it. If you want to open your eyes a bit, like or like open up your eyes a bit and make them look a little bit bigger I would say to put the darkest shadow a little over your actual uh, crease because it's gonna open up your eyes a little bit and make your lid seem like bigger than it actually is it's perfect if you have a little bit of a, a hooded eye I just have a fold here in the inner part you see this fold here but I'm not really that hooded out here you can see it's pretty open um, out here in the outer corner and I'm just blending out a bit with the shadow that I had before just to make this seem seamless enough. Listen, nothing is ever seamless or perfect. We just need it to be perfect enough. Perfect for us. I think that this is the, the, the level of dramatic I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna put some of these mats under my eyes as well just to make this a bit easier for me and yeah, come back and we can do some of the shimmer and the glitter. I really like this. I mean, it's brown, but it's very dramatic and very pigmented. Okay, so you can see that this is very dramatic. I'm actually quite a fan, even though it's also very brown, but listen. One does what one can do. Oh, it's called Bossy. I'm gonna do this one. I never use a brown shimmer. Ever, 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 ever. So this is, this is as far out of my comfort zone as we basically get. So I'm gonna use this brown shimmer. I am gonna spray it because I try to get as little fallout as possible and I also think that shadows become their best. Oh, is this one? That one did not want to play anymore. Okay, let's put that in the empties. So I'm gonna put that on. Oh, it's like a slightly bronzy gold. And I'm just going back with some of that dark brown, it's called Popular. And I'm just softening up the edges with that one. Wow, brown shimmer. How the turntables. I'm gonna do a little bit of the pearl shade, which is the big shadow in the palette. I'm gonna do that in the inner corners. And I want to try this as a highlighter as well. That's really pretty because I actually do not have a highlighter on because I have a feeling, I actually have a feeling that both of these shadows, this one and this one are going to work as face highlighters. So I'm just going to pull out my highlighting brush and I'm going to go into pearl 
I mean, it's a big shadow, so why not? And I'm just putting on this pretty lightly because it's pretty white. And then I'll take a little bit of the silly, which is that yellow, and I'll just blend that on top. That is definitely a really, really nice face highlighter. Very, very impressed by that. Yeah, that can definitely be used as a face highlighter, both of these. I have them mixed now on my cheeks. Yeah, that's actually quite stunning. I am... What am I, I want to do some glitter. Let me finish this up and we can do some glitter. I like this look just the way it is. I'm having some mascara on, but I'm gonna add some glitter and I'm gonna add some falsies because I'm extra. So I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna use a glitter glue and I'm gonna put that a little bit around my outer corner. Maybe I'll even put a little bit here. That could be cute. So I'm just taking a flat brush. This one is from NYX. I actually really enjoy this one. I like just recently found it in my collection, but it's really nice. I'm also using the NYX glitter glue and I'm using very little, as you can see. And I'm just gonna tap a little bit and just tap it out a little bit around my outer corner. You can see I'm not swiping, I'm just tapping. I did use this brush too do the swatches of the glitter before because usually when I swatch I just do finger swatches I'm putting the glitter on now I usually just do finger swatches but with glitter the brush swatches are just so much better so I usually oh that's pretty I usually do uh, brush brush swatches with pressed glitter I'm just putting a little bit and I'm just dabbing it on and I'm putting a bit sparsely so it's just a little bit of glitter out here in the outer corner. I really like that actually. Apparently my dog wants to sleep on the floor right here. Maybe we'll do just, I'm just taking very little extra glue and I'm just gonna put it here. And I'm just again dabbing it on. Very sparsely and I'm taking a little bit more of the glitter. You can see I'm just putting a little bit on the brush. Just so we can get a little bit here as well. And this way it's also not too close to the eyes. I mean these glitters, I don't think any glitters are eye safe or meant to be used in the immediate eye area, but at least for me this feels like it's a little bit farther away, but still. I would say read read up a bit before you use glitter around your eyes, so you're sure you're not doing something that doesn't feel comfortable for you. But I feel pretty secure myself with glitter, so I don't mind using a bit of glitter in my makeup looks. But I like it mostly like this. So it's a little bit sparkly just around my eye, a little bit fun, a little bit like exciting okay so the look is finished and this is what I have on I will say the quality of these shadows are really good I would say it's the normal good BH Cosmetics quality so there's nothing wrong with the quality so if you were looking for a small uh, neutral palette with a shade that at least for a uh, fair to a medium would work as highlighter I don't think that this is a bad buy. I will say the immense hate that this palette got surprised me a little bit. I am surprised that you had this high expectations for something as boring as a pearl. What like wh what did you expect? Like I am I am a little bit shocked by that because when I saw that this was a neutral palette, I wasn't surprised at all. And I am surprised that you're surprised. I'm actually happy it's not a pastel palette. Although I will say I would not be surprised if the opal palette that's upcoming will be a pastel palette. But I like things that are a bit more dramatic. I will pick a dark chocolate brown over a pastel. If I'm gonna be totally honest, I like pastels but not on their own as much. So the quality of this is nice. And I'm not surprised it is a neutral palette. Someone commented that, that this was like the colors of the pearl and the clam and everything and I can't like unsee it because it really is the colors of the pearl inside the clam. I know there are black pearls but you have black for diamonds so I'm also happy they're not putting black in every of these palettes. So I'm not, I'm not surprised and if this isn't your color scheme then just don't buy it. 
<laughs> there's gonna be other months like next month is gonna be ruby hopefully we'll get something fun with red again we had the what was that one for my birth month it was for january because i'm a january baby that one was i can't remember now what is it called garnet and it was more like a red with that pinky red i'm hoping ruby is going to be more like a true red so that's like a bit of a difference but i'm also wondering like how they're going to make it different from the garnet palace so i am excited about this series there are nine dollar palettes with really good quality i mean we're not going to get multi chromes or like a bunch of dual chromes for nine dollars i'm happy with the quality of these like i understand if you hate neutrals and if you don't want to buy this palette don't by the palette <laughs> as long as not every other palette for the rest of the year is a brown palette i'm not sad that one of them is at least the quality is good you are free to disagree of course i understand that if you were waiting for your month and you're a june baby and you were hoping for this to be something else i'm sorry it isn't but maybe some of the other months will be better for you and you can just scratch out the month name and put june on it instead so that was it for this video i hope you like the look and like the swatches i don't know maybe you hated it you can let me know that and that in the comments as well if you want to don't forget to subscribe and i will see you again tomorrow for a new video bye